Hello everyone, how are you doing today? I'm back with another video and in today's video we have an HP X360 laptop. This one is an 14-DY series model and this one they do come with an Intel 11 gen CPUs. This one in particular is an iCore 5 and they come with variety of the um, configuration 8 gig RAM, 4 gig RAM, 200 gig SSD or 128 gig SSD. This one, the, this one in particular has a 256GB SSD and the client wants to upgrade it to a 2TB I believe or 1TB, he's not decided yet. But in this video I'm going to show you guys how to open it up and how you can access the SSD and do your own upgrade. Really simple and really easy. So first thing first you want to power off the laptop and you want to flip it upside down. You want to grab a few tools. Tool number one will be a screwdriver set. This is a iFixit tool set screwdriver. I really love this tool set because they have an S2 class steel. They're really tough in steel and it will last you a much longer period of the time. So you're going to grab a Phillips number one. Also, if you want to get the pro set of this one, I'll leave the link in my description. They do include an opening tool and some tweezers. But if not, you can purchase the tweezers apart. And for the opening tool, I'm going to be using a guitar pick, a metallic guitar pick, which is really suitable for opening electronics and covers. Now, at the bottom cover here, you're going to realize that there is no screws or anything like that. Because there is a two hidden screws on the front rubber legs on one inch corner. There's nothing in the middle. And in the back rubber, there's one in each corner and one right in the middle right here. So what you need to do, grab the opening tool and just stick it right under the, this rubber here and it's open it up just about like that and you're gonna see the screw and go ahead remove the screw right there and do the same thing on this side remove the screw on this side and on the back uh, Support right here, you want to just gently remove it in 45 degree angle. Don't go over, just pull it up the way I'm pulling it up and put it beside it. And go ahead and remove the three screws. The screws are all the same size and height as the front, so don't worry about mismatching. Also, if you want to support the channel, just click that like button and subscribe. I really appreciate it, and we are great support. Obviously, if you find my videos helpful. Next, once you did this, uh, simply you want to grab your opening tool and you want to start from the top corner by the hinges. Stick the guitar pick right in there, about two or three millimeters, and then you just want to twist it towards the outside. Do it like that. You might hear some clicks, that's fine. Again, one or two clicks. Go all around in the back and start doing the sides, and you should see the case opening up and do the front do the sides once you see all four corners four sides opened up there's a tiny hook right in the middle that hooks up from the battery. Just grab it and just wiggle it around a little bit and it should release this hook right there. Sometimes you might have to pull it up a little bit harder but try to move it around. And this is the bottom case. Now down here is simply you can see there's no mechanical drive or a space for a mechanical drive. The SSD drive is right over here under this heat shield. Under this heat, heat plate right here. To remove it, you do not need to remove the battery, it's really unnecessary, but if you want to remove the battery, just grab the cable and pull it back and the battery will get released. But to remove the hard drive, you don't need to. To remove it, remove the tiny screw that holds it in place at the back. And this one does support M.2 and NVMe drive, so that's a positive. Next, you just want to lift up this cover, the heatsink cover first. From the front, there's a tiny hook. And it is hooking up to this corner. 
Okay, it's not letting me to remove because I have to remove the battery. Let's not make the whole thing harder. So let's go ahead and remove the battery quickly. There's a one, two, three, four, four screws that hold the battery. They are located with an M2 screws. And let's remove this one right here. Let's just bring it back so we can unhook this shield right here. So move a little bit this side and it will come out pretty easy. So you see that tiny hook? I don't know why they did that too. So you have to remove the battery, I guess. So just flip it over. This is speaker cables. And now you can just go ahead and lift up the SSD in 45 degree angle a little bit and then slide it out and it will come out. This is an NVMe mixture of the SSD and Optane which I don't know why they need an Optane here. So you can just grab a normal Samsung, a good brand will be a Samsung NVMe drive. So grab the new NVMe drive, make sure the notch right here, it matches the notch on the RAM, on the, on the DIMM right here. There's a tiny notch right at inside here. So place it in an angle, in like a 45 degree angle. You slide it all the way in, and then make sure the screw holes matches right here. And then place the tiny screw that you removed from here, which will be this one right over here. Next, to put the shield on top, simply move the battery to lift it up, bring it over, align it on top, just slide down and just knock it right in place. And the last thing is align the battery, put the four screws that you remove for the battery. And next thing is to grab the power jack for the battery, slide it evenly and push it towards the jack. And that should be all. Next, just make sure this heatsink is sitting nicely in there. Just press it down a little bit, just tap it down. And the last thing would be to grab the bottom cover. Also remember, once you do this process, you will need to install your Windows again. I made a link on how to create a USB boot drive for a Windows 10 and also I made a video how to install Windows 10 on a HP laptop. All the HP laptops they have the same way of installing Windows. As soon as you put your bootable USB drive in here, you want to keep turning it on, keep pressing escape, tapping on escape and you're going to see a boot menu. And you're going to choose F9 from this boot menu so you can choose your USB drive from that menu and the rest is really simple check my other video how to install the windows and i hope you guys like this video and helped you guys out if it did please click that like button and think about subscribing it really helps and motivates me to make more videos and take requests from you guys and again thanks for watching guys and i'll see you guys in my next video i'm just gonna finish up putting up the screws There we go.